Hi guys, welcome back to Keys Grills. Uh, today we are doing quack quack, bit of duck. I'm gonna do it slightly different from what I'd normally do it. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna season up two, season up both of these ducks with uh, one with salt and one and black pepper. And then I'm gonna use one with a Caribbean jerk, okay? Then my plan is I'm gonna stick them in the fridge for about two or three hours, just see so if we can uh, get a bit of uh, marination going on there. And with a salt and pepper one, we'll get a bit of a dry cure as well. Then I'm gonna bring it out. I'm gonna put it into the Traeger on a super smoke setting, just so I can get some nice smoke running through it. Then I'm gonna bring it out of there and then I'm gonna put it into a frying pan. I'm gonna crisp up this skin and then I am going to put in some soy sauce, some honey, and make like a, almost like a little base really. And then we'll see which one comes out the best, whether it's gonna be the Caribbean jerk or it's gonna be just the standard salt and black pepper. Right, so very straightforward guys, very, very straightforward. We start here. We'll take this one first of all, and all we're gonna do, turn it upside down. A little bit of salt. Okay, a little bit of black pepper. Repeat on the fat side as well. A bit of salt. Do love a bit of salt, guys, can't beat a bit of salt. And a bit of black pepper. And that's as far as we're gonna take that one. And then all we're gonna do is repeat the process, but this time we're gonna be using this uh, Caribbean jerk. Now, if you ask me where I got it, couldn't tell you. My wife bought it for me, um, so it doesn't say who makes it or whatever, it's just called Caribbean jerk. And sometimes you do get a lot of these sort of um, marinades that people get for Christmases and birthdays and all that. And my advice is just have a fucking stab at them. Do you know what I mean? You might like them, you might not. I've come across some really shit ones, I ain't gonna lie to you. Anyway, this is Caribbean jerk. So I imagine this is probably gonna have a bit of a kick on it, but we'll soon find out. There we go. Now, that little lot is going in the fridge for a good two to three hours, all right? So I shall see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys in about two to three hours. All right, see you then. Hi guys, welcome back. We are at the two hour mark. Uh, the only thing that I did forget to do, silly sod, I uh, forgot to score the skin. So that's what we're gonna do now. And the reason that we do that, just helps it render. So let's get the old dowel strong out. And we're gonna cut the skin, but we're just gonna cut it down to the actual flesh, all right? And this should hopefully help that fat render. Well, that's the plan anyway. And then I like to all go, I like to go across this way as well. It's number one, pop that over there, and then just repeat the process. Should we make that that way, should we? A bit easier. Do need a nice sharp knife for this. I am using a dowel strong which I do like their knives, to be fair. Right, okay, so now that we have scored our duck, <laughs> scored the duck, <laughs> whack whack. <laughs> cool, you scored with that duck, son, didn't you? No, mate, right now we've scored the duck. The next stage, guys, is we're gonna go into the Traeger. Now, all I'm using the Traeger for is to try and infuse some smoke. I'm not trying to cook it. There is gonna be heat, but we're gonna be pushing this at 225, which is our super smoke setting. Do you know what I mean? We're trying to get as much smoke out of that in a short period of time. Probably about 15, maybe 20 minutes. I just want to try and get the nice smoke flavour into it before I bring it from there into the pan, okay? So, I shall bring you over, okay? Now, as I've said to you before, most people turn these things on and then they wait for them to heat up, then they put their meat in. But when these things first turn on, you do get this lovely influx of smoke. Well, since I'm just trying to infuse that smoke into it. I'm not actually trying to cook it. I want as much smoke taste as I can get out of it. So I'm gonna put these on before we even fire this bad boy up, all right? Okie dokie. As I say, we're gonna set this thing up to two, actually, you know, we're gonna set this thing up to 200 and then we're just gonna leave it in there while it goes through the igniting process, okay? As I said, 15, 20 minutes, just try and get as much of that smoke flowing through there so we can get as much smoky taste on that duck before we stick it in the pan. All right, it's gonna take a little while to uh, heat up. Uh, to get ready for it's actually ignited. But then once it is, you'll get to see just how much smoke we do get out of this thing. We don't want to waste any smoke, guys. We don't want to waste any smoke. Now, as you can see, look how much of that lovely smoke there is. Now, you'd have lost all that if you'd have waited for it to warm up first. And as I say, cause I'm trying to just infuse, look at it bellowing out the back here. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's old Smokey Joe's, that is. 
We ain't wasting any of it, guys. We ain't wasting any of it. Right, guys, that is 20 minutes, okay? Like I said to you, we're not doing cooking in here. We're just trying to smoke these and get some infused smoke flavor going. So we're gonna pick these bad boys out, okay? And there you have them, guys, all right? Now, pan's cold, Hob's not even on yet, but the plan is we're gonna turn these bad boys over, cook them fat side down, and bring up the heat slowly so we can render that fat. Now, I'm actually gonna change position on the camera a little bit here, just so you can get a closer look. All right, so let's bring up the heat slowly on this bad boy. Wonderful. Fingers crossed these turn out lovely, guys. Slowly, slowly catch the monkey, because that fat on them duck is pretty thick. Do you know what I mean? Or that skin, I should say, really. But um, so we do want to, we want to render it, we want to make sure we render it all. So slowly, slowly we're going on this one. Notice I haven't put any um, oil or butter or anything in there, it doesn't need it. We're going to render that fat down and once, once we get that fat out, they're also going to keep that fat. And we're going to use it for something else later on. What not waste, not and all that, you know. Right, just uh, salt and pepper one at the front and then we've got our Caribbean jerk at the back. Wonder which one's going to be the nicest. Look at the amount of, there, look at that, lovely. Now we are going to be shooting for an internal temperature of about 135 on this. Hopefully, that should be the right temperature we need and it should be nice and tasty. Fingers crossed. It's amazing the amount of fat that comes out of them, isn't it? Give a little squidge down. I ain't gonna lie to you, from this point it smells bloody lovely. Look at that baby, that one looks lovely, that fella. Now the plan is to try and get it nice and crispy. Don't always work. <laughs> and then, once we get them to where we want them to be, we're going to finish them off with a bit of soy sauce and honey. Honey, honey, you're my candy girl. <whistles> Slowly getting there, guys. You can tell the difference with this seasoning, but you've got to remember that ain't just the fat there, that's, that's the seasoning there that's crisping up. So you've got to be a bit careful, because what we don't want we don't want it to just, we want to make sure that we are rendering that fat, guys. All right, well, let's swap them around as well. Whoa. Getting there, isn't it? That's hot. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'll turn that one over. I'm going to turn that one over, because that skin looks like it's starting to get there. Oh, it does feel like it's crispy skin though, guys. Sealed right the way around. That's gonna be fucking lovely, I reckon. As I said, we're shooting for about 135, but obviously I've still got to finish them off with a honey, and we're nowhere near. And the, um, literally nowhere near. The honey and the uh, soy sauce. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna give them one last little sizzle on the skin. Like so, lovely. That is now ready for our sauce. Take these bad boys out and pop on here for a sec. Okay, and then let's uh, pour this duck fat in there because we don't want to waste that. We can reuse that later on. Pay good money for the old duck fat, don't they? Lovely. Right, that's going back on. These are going back on. Next stage, honey. and soy sauce. Wonderful. Oh. If only you guys had smell of vision because that is beautiful. Let's get all of that honey, all of that over the top of that. Make sure you get a nice even coating all the way over. We don't want to waste any of it, do we? Last little temperature check, guys. The salt and pepper is ready to come out. Let's give her a last little spin around in that honey and soy sauce. Wonderful. I mean, look at that. And then we're going to let that rest, literally, for about seven minutes, guys. Let's just get this out of the way. Let's give this one a last little one. Last little go over. And that is going on now. Bloody lovely. Get all this out of the way while these two fellas get to rest. 
Okie dokie guys, that is a seven minute rest. Now, now for the old tape test, because it look they look fucking lovely, I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's pop that over there. I'm gonna go, last time I did duck, the salt and pepper was the one for me, so I'm gonna go for that one second. I'm gonna bring this over here, I'm gonna put that on there like that, and then all I'm just gonna do is have a little carve up. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. That looks fucking lovely. Let's get a bit of ball juice. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, mate. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to have a go at that. That's fucking lovely, guys. That is absolutely lovely. It's pink enough for me. The skin is crunchy, it's not fatty. Oh, mate. Oh, there comes the kick. This is the Caribbean jerk. Oh, fucking hell, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have another one. Guys, I highly recommend that. You definitely got the heat. I'm getting the sweetness of all that, that honey and the um, soy sauce. That's a perfect little mix. If that's not chewy, oh, mate. Happy days. Mm, I remember that. Okay. Now let's try salt and pepper. Now bearing in mind that this fella won last time. Okay, let's go right in the middle. Still get out of it, bloody flies. A little bit pinker than the other one. But hey oh, let's have a go. Oh no. Fucking hell. That is bloody lovely, guys. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, mate. That skin is lovely and crunchy. I know it's only salt and pepper. But it's, do you know what? I've got to say it's a salt and pepper again. It's, I don't think it needs much more. I really don't. Oh, mate, yeah. Let me just try and have a quick bit of this Caribbean. Caribbean jerk pepper. I fucking nearly ate it all. You know what? No, I'm gonna stay with it, guys. I personally still think the salt and pepper's it. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, I did it as a test, you know, to see which one was the best, and I've got to say, the salt and pepper wins a game. Two in a bloody row. Now, either way, if someone put that in front of that, you wouldn't be upset. Now, remember, don't forget to push all the fucking buttons, and I'll see you next time.